Oh, that's good. Jump in the water. That's how you learn to drink, buddy. Drink or swim. That's what they say. I don't think that's what they say. All right. Let's try this. Hi, pal. Oh, what are we doing here? Why am I sitting where there's only one camera that can reasonably see me? I guess that's the way it is today. Here, I'll move that one. Oh, this way too. Even though it's not much of a view. Okay, test, test. Okay, sound, microphone, mailbag. Hi, everybody. Um, let me check to make sure you can hear me. Is this thing on? Let's see. I think it is on. Uh, today's probably going to be a pretty quick one. Uh, because I already opened a fair amount of this stuff this week. Um, I didn't, obviously, you know, I just, I don't do that very often, but there were some things I was told were sent that needed to go in the endowments yesterday before those three adoptions happened. So I wanted to, uh, to grab some of that stuff out. But um, uh, I do have some notes here about people to thank. And I have some of the stuff that you see just sitting here next to me is uh, stuff from one of those boxes. So we can still talk about it a little bit. As for news, the big news is, of course, we had uh, three adoptions yesterday, Joyce and um, Gabe and uh, Marshmallow were all, um, all went home. Gabe is still on his way home, last I heard. Uh, their flight was first delayed and then canceled, and they ended up spending the night in a hotel uh, near JFK. But uh, from everything I've heard, Gabe had a really good time, uh, so he's not at all put out. And uh, thank goodness they had, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it's just, they're just excellent planners or they just, you know, every contingency, but um, the airline wouldn't let them have their bags back. So uh, it was really fortunate that they had food and all the necessities for him in their carry-on which I know if it were me, I probably would not have done, uh, you know, considering that I would expect to get on the plane and off the plane without needing any of that stuff. Uh, so really lucky about that. And then also, of course, one of those things is the gabapentin that he'll probably want to calm him down for his trip today. Boy, that stuff knocked him out yesterday. That was really something. Uh, so hopefully his flight today will be just fine. As for the other two, Marsh and uh, Joyce, we've already seen updates from them meeting their new cat brothers and sisters and uh, doing very well about it. So it's, uh, it's good. It's all good news. Today, of course, after mailbag, uh, which is why I'm going to have to keep it moving just to be safe, uh, we're expecting Skye to get her adoption around 1130 which does provide some margin, but I've also been working all mornings on other things. Uh, now, uh, we've got all the endowments and stuff and paperwork all lined up, but still, I'm going to want some time in between to make sure I got all the ducks in a row. Um, so, uh, so we'll try to get through this. Um, you know, like I said, it's probably not going to take too long anyway. Uh, that's it for news, though. That and the fact, of course, that all of the adoptions are coming right up, except um, I think that it is... Uh, going from memory, pajamas and is it pajamas and rafter that are going together and they're not going for another week. Um, and then as far as I've heard, I think Cashmere still needs an adopter, uh, which is uh, strange, I think, because he is just a wonderful little kitten, of course. But I know he will find his adopter in due time and he gets along really well with everybody here. So uh, not a concern as long as he needs to stay to find the right person. 
Uh, that's it, though. That then is definitely everything. Uh, there was... I know people are like, okay, you know, now the house is going to be extremely empty of kittens after Monday, um, which is true. You know, even uh, at next week, it will be especially empty of kittens. We're only going to have uh, potentially one, maybe two, you know, if you, if you think uh, crank and uh, maybe cash. And then the rest will all be mom, cat, and faculty which is, uh, that might be a record for us. I'm not sure what the fewest kittens we've ever had at the Academy has been. I guess it can't be the, the record because there must have been a time when we had just mom cat, uh, but it's rare. And uh, um, so uh, Dawes has already maybe got a lead on a potential other mom cat for us to bring in or uh, if, if we get the opportunity, I think it would be fun to bring in some little siblings for Crank, but uh, that can be tricky to manage, especially if uh, um, our mom cat gadget here is not up for it, and I don't know that she would be. Uh, it will be easier to do that after uh, Crank is fully weaned and eating his, her own food, um, then, then it would be easy to do that because mom doesn't necessarily need to be involved at that point. And, um, then it, it opens up our options a little. So if we do consider that, that's something that, that I think we'll, we'll sort of consider in a little while, um, not immediately. But uh, she should be getting really close to being weaned anyway. She's been eating baby food with some success because she likes that. But so far, I won't really eat mom's real food. Um, and the one time we tried her on RC Mom and Baby Cat, she wasn't having it. But that doesn't mean that she won't be ready for it in a few more days. She's making great gains. Uh, she's playing. She's climbing. Uh, learning to be a kitten, and that's uh, that's my favorite thing to see. So it's good times around here. Okay, let's do some mailbag. I know we've got two letters tucked in here, and then a bunch of things that are like letters. So we'll just go to those to start out. Yeah, let me see if I can. I don't know if this is on camera, but it needs to be because right here is one of her favorite places to, to hang out lately. She's behind it now, but she'll get in there. Okay. Oh, this is beautiful uh, painting of two cats, recent too. The Synchronized Cats by Marianne Fida. Interesting. Uh, so... To Mr. A, Dr. DJ faculty and students, I was introduced to Kitten Academy with the Port Oranges. What could be more fun than watching seven little orange fur balls in constant motion? I've enjoyed every class since then. It's been said before, but bears repeating. Thanks for all you do, both for the kittens and for us watchers. Now a message for all the watchers. Please send more letters for mailbags. Sending gifts shows your kindness, but I love the letters best. Hearing about other people and their cat families, I know a lot of you are on the chat, but some of us are not. So please send letters or cards that Mr. A can share with all of us. Thanks, M. Hobbit. Oh, M. Hobbit, thank you. You know, I agree with that sentiment, uh, but for different reasons, I think. Um, I do love hearing from people, of course. I also think, um, you know, the letters are one of my favorite parts of Mailbag. And uh, a lot of people like to send stuff for DJ or for me. And uh, we try to discourage that, actually. Not that we don't appreciate your generosity. It's wonderful. And you've sent some amazing things. People have sent some of the, the, the best things that we own. I mean, things that are nicer than anything we would buy ourselves. And silly things and wonderful stuff. And, and it's all much appreciated. But we try to ask folks to focus more on the kittens when you want to send stuff. And uh, that's another reason why I encourage people to send letters. If you want to send me something, I think the best thing you can send me is probably just a letter, you know, just a, a note, um, you know, a few words, uh, your thoughts. Uh, I really appreciate that all the time. So, uh, M. Hobbit, uh, definitely I concur on the sentiment. Okay, we have another note here addressed to Dr. DJ. Um, I'm just now realizing that at least one of these packages said not for mailbag on it. I have to make sure I look out for that because uh, I didn't separate it. Uh, okay, so this is addressed to Dr. DJ, but she is probably not going to come over here for mailbag this morning. Um, this is a pop-up card. There we go. It's already, uh, there we go, a little bit off of its um, tabs, though. 
It says, Dear DJ, may your special day be filled with love, hugs, and purrs. Kindest regards, Anna Marie, a.k.a. Philly Mouse. Well, that is such a sweet thing for you to say. Um, I was going to ask what special day she would be having, but uh, now I realize, I guess her birthday is coming up tomorrow. And um, you knew, and I didn't, even though I, I know what her birthday is. But again, DJ and I are people that don't... Um, we don't really get into celebrating a lot of those kinds of things. The only holiday we really seem to participate in by choice is Christmas. And the only reason that we do that is that DJ loves all the trappings of Christmas. You know, the, uh, the, the Christmas trees and the, you know, all the decorations and stuff. That's, she really likes all that. So we do Christmas. We do it early and big because it's our one holiday. Um, but uh, other than that, we don't, you know, we don't really get into like uh, our anniversary, our birthdays, um, any of the other common holidays. Uh, so, I, so don't blame me for not, not realizing that it was her birthday tomorrow. Um, but uh, thank you for reminding me so I can at least say happy birthday to her because that's nice. Uh, so yeah, special day tomorrow for DJ. Who knew? Kind of not me. So on that same note, here's something that is addressed to DJ and says not for mailbag. So I will pass this on to her and I can guess what it's going to be about since it's addressed to her. I think you can guess too at this point. Okay, um, so moving right along. Hi, I see Teaspoon is just sitting there at the door looking at me. He likes to get some lap time in with me lately when he gets the chance. That's probably what he's sitting there for. Uh, he will come to my office and sit on my lap while I'm working if he can, which uh, doesn't always happen because a lot of times I'm just closed in there with custard. Oh, this is a cool toy. That mouse looks like it's got little tabby stripes like a tabby. So in the meantime, this says, Dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a few lines to enclose two copies of a poem I've composed for Skylight. One copy is, of course, for Skylight to take to her forever home, and one copy is for the Academy. Well, I guess this got here just in time. Um, I hope the poem goes a, even a little way to describing what a just, uh, just what a special girl Skylight is. I am really dropping things everywhere. Okay. Uh, let's see. She has been an exemplary mother, not just to her own kittens, but also to Cuddle's kittens, and I've mentioned this in the poem. I shall always think of her and her family with great fondness. I've also enclosed some wee mindings for Skylight to take home in due course. All right. Well, due course comes today. I just, in that case, if this, is, this is for her. Uh, this is apparently a cat toy that is on uh, an elastic string, so you can bounce it around. And it really, the fur is so, like, it looks like you could just hide this in Loganberry or, uh, or a teaspoon with a sort of orangey, tan, stripey thing. Very cute. Um, you also sent for her, uh, Waitrose and Partners Packed Pockets with Salmon. Well, that does sound really good. So I think Sky is going to appreciate both of those going home with her today. Now you say, uh, every once in a while, I like to watch the BBC feature by video journalist Natalia Zuo on Kitten Academy that appeared as trending on the BBC website on February uh, on 25th, February 2017. I was intrigued by the charming and informative feature and tuned into the Academy on YouTube for the very first time. Little did I know at that time just what an incredible journey I was embarking upon, and in the years since then, I've had the pleasure and privilege of following the lives of the Academy Fosters, faculty cats, and humans. At the time of the BBC feature, the Academy had fostered over 40 cats and kittens. However, now that hundreds of cats and kittens have been fostered, I'm wondering if it would be possible to provide the BBC with an update on what has happened since. I'm keeping my paws crossed that this... Hang on. But wait, there's more. Uh, let's see here. Try again. I got this. Uh, this is something you might consider. Kitten Academy is the most wonderful place, and I would love for more people to get to know about the positive difference it is making not only to the lives of cats and kittens, but also to the lives of those humans in the worldwide KA community. With lots of love and very best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Uh, thank you very much. I love the phrase, we mindings. Uh, that is just very, that's adorable. Um, okay. Uh, 
Uh, as for the BBC special uh, report, that uh, report uh, thing, video journal, I don't know what you call it, um, that, that we were in. I, uh, I really did think that was super special. And it did bring a lot of people to Kitten Academy, to the knowledge of Kitten Academy, I guess, the awareness at the time. Um, it was it was really fun. Uh, I would obviously, you know, if somebody, the BBC or anybody comes to me and says, we'd like to say a few words about you. I always say yes, since our, our fundamental, um, the, the whole goal in, in what we do and the reason that we do it on the Internet is to get attention to the kittens that we have that need to find adopters. And it's true, we don't adopt to the UK at this point, but... Uh, we do, I do feel that, that sort of just even people watching from anywhere raises our relevance in YouTube's rankings, and that helps us be seen by more people that might be adopters. Um, also, you know, these days we're just, a, the globe is one big community thanks to the internet, and um, it's, it's always, you know, possible or even likely that um, people that are in the UK and elsewhere um, may, uh, may very well... Um, have friends or, or, you know, talk to people all the time that, that are uh, in the zone of adoption. So I just, I think that just the more visibility that you get on it, the better. And uh, uh, so we, we always agree to do that kind of thing when we can. Um, I don't, I, I, so for a long time now, I have not been the person reading our email, so I can't really speak directly to uh, what it looks like in general, but uh, I feel like we're living in a slightly different world now than when we started the better part of 10 years ago now. And uh, it, it's certainly hard to discern, you know, spam and, and other things from legitimate requests and offers. I know I've made that mistake myself. In fact, um, uh, there was someone that approached us a while back with some uh, kind of an exciting uh, advertising opportunity, just exciting because it was such a big name. And I immediately dismissed it as not being really related to kittens, not directly anyway, and not the sort of thing that we do, you know, advertising. Um, and I just figured, well, this is just some guy who's a marketer who's sending out this email to everybody, hoping that he gets some hits. Um, and uh, I ignored it, and it turned out that it actually was like a legitimate offer. Um, which we didn't take because it, I still don't think that it was a very good match and it wasn't again the sort of thing that we ever do <clears throat> um but uh, i think it just goes to the point that that uh you know it's it, it can be uh difficult to know even when those kinds of things are on offer um and then uh i don't know that they are being offered um you know as often as they were uh, at the time i think we kind of stood out for some reasons that uh, maybe aren't as relevant now and maybe we will again. Um, you know, I, I certainly think that uh, there there might be things coming up that will help us to stand out a little bit more. But <clears throat> I also don't feel particularly like I need to struggle to stand out, that Kitten Academy needs to struggle to stand out. I think we get the right amount of attention. Uh, we, As long as all the kittens are getting adopted, we're doing fine. We're achieving exactly what we set out to do. <clears throat> and... I think if we sort of scramble for more attention, try to get sort of, a, say, a bigger slice of the pie, then all we're really doing past getting our kittens adopted, any more than that that we take in attention-wise, is probably taking attention away from other fosters or other cats that need the attention too. And I would hate to think that we had done that. So I, I feel like in a sense we're sort of deliberately staying at the level that we're at um, because it's it's enough and that's and t more taking more than enough I think feels like it could cause problems to other people that we wouldn't want to be part of you know so um, I, you know it's I Sometimes enough is enough, and <laughs> we've certainly got that. Anyway, my point being, I wouldn't say no, uh, but I also I'm, I wouldn't really pursue it myself. I don't. Uh, it, it's wonderful though that they did it. I still I think of those things that have come up like that, and the the thing that was on the um, Japanese television, and uh, there was an article in. Oh gosh, I want to say it was 
popular mechanics about us, which is, I know, that's crazy. Like, how does that even fit? But it did. Um, and there's, there's been other mentions like that. The time that we were on WGN TV, uh, Chicago, um, you know, those kinds of things. Those were all so much fun and just a part of my life in a way that I will always treasure. So, uh, fantastic stuff. Okay, let's do your poem. A poem for Skylight, sweetest Skylight. In gray and white you are resplendent, a purring ball of fluff. And from when you arrived at the prestigious K.A., I couldn't love you enough. You settled into Academy life so easily, and in due time you gave birth to kittens, each one adorable, and each one filled me with mirth. As you reared your babies, it was plain to see just what a devoted mother you are, not only to your own furry offspring, but to those you adduted with glee. So, sweetest Skylight, my wish for you is that you find the most wonderful forever home with humans who will care for you and love you, acknowledging your infinite worth. You've really made an impression on this Scott so far away, so know, my sweetest Skylight, that I shall never forget you, and that forever in my heart you shall rightly stay. Uh, Joanne, thank you so much. That is really sweet. Your poems are always very, very sweet. Um, I love that we have poets uh, that are fans of Kitten Academy, Um, and uh, not just you. I mean, it's it's really been a lot of fun. I love anything that people, um, you know, put their time and energy into producing is so incredibly special and uh, I, I can't thank you enough for that so you've got another copy here that's nicely packaged to go with this two skylights endowments today so I'm just gonna set it right here behind me and that way uh, I can pick it up separately and make sure that it goes straight to her endowments after mailbag and uh, thank you once again okay well I <laughs> you were just so this mom is such a nutty mom um, what was I going to say? There was one thing that didn't come up at all uh, from the uh, the stuff that I had to open, which was from Lisa for Kittens. She sent the ball tracks that she likes to send for every class. She sent for um, the kids that are graduating, and I've distributed those to the endowments as of yesterday, so I didn't have to bring them up here. <laughs> it's a lot of big boxes. They're big. I mean, there's it's the ball tracks are big, and then you send 10 of them, and it's just it's lots of giant boxes, so... Uh, kind of glad I didn't have to bring them up here, but I wanted to say thank you very much, Lisa Four Kittens, not only for sending them, but for warning me that they were there so that I could go and grab them and make sure that they made it into the endowments in time. I really appreciate that. Uh, similarly, well, I guess we'll go right to it. Um, we had another one. Hopefully this is going to say again who it was. Uh, This is so cool, like a little booklet that says the note, and on the front, look at this, we've got a kitten uh, drinking, I'm sorry, a cat drinking coffee, giving a thumbs up with two little kittens playing around it. That is adorable. Uh, Pencil sketch. I love that style that you've got there. It says, Dear Dr. DJ and Mr. A, thank you for all that you do for mom cats, pregnots, kittens, faculty, and of course us, your loyal fans. I cannot tell you how much Kitten Academy helped me during some sad times, and I am extremely grateful. Thank you to everyone on Discord who put post comments, gifts, pic, uh, gifts, pigeon gifts, and gifts, pictures, and videos. What a great community! This box of goodies all started with a trek to a Star Trek convention in Long Island, New York. There were so many great things to see and buy. There was a coffee booth set up, and as a coffee fiend, I needed to check it out. The coffee is a brand, a new brand made by gamers for gamers. Interesting. As I bought some from a man with a shaved head and glasses, hmm, uh, suspicious, owner of the company and gamer, I turned to my husband, man with shaved head and glasses, and said, you know what other man with shaved head and glasses might like this? <laughs> my husband rolled his eyes and said, Mr. A... I then proceeded to tell the owner of the company all about Kitten Academy. He made sure to put a postcard in with your coffee bag so you can get 25% off your next purchase. Good salesman. There was also a lot of Doctor Who stuff, and the artist who made the postcard enclosed had really beautiful work. We also went to the Shabby Tabby Cafe Cat Rescue and made some fun purchases there. 
Aw, warning, one of the dad cat magnets may be not safe for KA mailbag, uh, which you wrote as N-S-F-K-A-M-B, but I get it. Uh, oh, you did spell it out. They are uh, snarky and sarcastic. All right, I like snarky and sarcastic quite a bit. I, I try to avoid it on the stream from me, but if it's not actually, you know, like objectionable, I think it's fine. We'll see. I have no idea. Um, there is a You Are Awesome beach blanket for DJ that she can use at home or on a day out because she is awesome. That's funny because I saw this and my thought was this is perfect for carrying to the beach because it's got this cool little, uh, it rolls right up and it's got a carrying handle and everything. And it says, thanks for being awesome. So that's that. I saw that for sure. I didn't see the other stuff yet because it's in bags. We'll take a look. Um, the bags and items are labeled. My family always mails things in Ziploc bags in case of weather, so no fancy wrapping. Uh, well, that is technically fancy wrapping. I mean, uh, it's super modern. Wrapping paper has been around forever. You know, ancient people could use wrapping paper, but they couldn't use a Ziploc bag, could they? Uh, since there have been some changes at the Academy, some items were relabeled, and you can use as you see fit. This package was meant to be sent quite a while ago. Oops. Sending love, hugs, and happiness your way and to all KA family love. Gina, who is at Jen Meow. I suppose that's on Discord, at G-I-N-M-E-O-W. Uh, artist for the front. F front art, shaved head, glasses, wearing husband. <laughs> that's cute. He's a good artist. I love that you are going to a Star Trek convention and that there's so much Doctor Who there, too. That's the kind of thing I would always have loved to have done I've never done it. I, I just, it would be so interesting just to go as like a cultural phenomenon, never mind the fact that I do like Star Trek and Doctor Who, so I couldn't just stand back and be like, no, no, I'm just here to observe all you nerds. No, I'm, I'm definitely one of the nerds uh, that would be there for that reason, uh, but I've just never done it. Uh, something to go on my list, I suppose. Um, let's see. Uh, so here's what you have actually sent. There is one, we'll do Dr. DJ first. Uh, Dr. DJ has uh, a nice pen. She loves pens. A really cute little sticker of a kitten with a T and some socks that have what appear to be sushi kittens. Yes, this one's got, it uh, could be a flower, but I think that that's row on her head. And we've got another one here that looks like Tamago. Uh, so that's super cute little sushi socks and a pen with a little kitten winking on it. That is adorable. It's all very cute. She's gonna love that. And happy birthday to her. It came just in time. See, you put off sending the stuff and uh, here it is at a very opportune moment for her. Um, I guess that's her pile right there. Okay. Now let's see about the rest. So first off, the coffee is Heroes Never Die, Fighting Spirit Cafe. Wow. Um, hmm. And I see it's got a little like, uh, it's uh, got a um, little heart, like a heart life meter on it that's draining. So uh, I guess you'll need this. This single origin Habana, so whatever, uh, will leave you feeling invincible. Wow. That is a bold claim. So uh, I'm excited to try it out. Thank you so much for that. Spawn Point Coffee. That's a great name too. Huh. Spawn Point Coffee. Our coffee brand is made for gamers by gamers. It's a way of life. Gaming is a way of life. I suppose it has been something I've done my whole life, so I can't really deny it. Uh, that seems a little dramatic though. So here we have a kitten delivering mailbag with his little red hat on and all. We have a mom cat. It says she's a queen. I love these stickers. Uh, we have the Big Sci-Fi Podcast. Wait, the Big Sci-Fi Podcast. Well, that's exactly what it is. Maybe I should check that out. Trek Geeks, a Star Trek podcast. Okay. Uh, Rogue Alliance. Oh, look at that. That is some great cosplay there. They have their webpage, which is Rogue Alliance. Go figure. All right. I sort of feel like I've got the swag now. Maybe I've been there. Uh, Amanda Glover, mixed media artist. Now, what did she do? Is she this postcard? That's really cool. It is a Doctor Who cat. And, uh, yeah, standing in front of the TARDIS. I mean, what else can I say about it? Maybe that will come as his next incarnation. Uh, who knows? 
Okay, and this is the Spawn Point Coffee, like you said. Uh, there is a coupon, I suppose, but if it is the coupon, just it's just a QR code. There's no... Oh, wait, there is. Uh, next Coffee use code Game On exclamation point. So there you go. One word. Everybody can try that out and see how long it works for. Okay. I do see that this is the postcard artist, Amanda Glover. And that is a wonderful postcard. It's really cool work. And then we have magnets that say, Real Men Love Cats, Show Me Your Kitties, and Cats, Naps, and Snacks. And it's literally from Snark City. <laughs> so I see what you mean. Uh, that's great. I love it. Thank you so much for those. Okay. Uh, I think that then is the whole... Oh, so I should also mention, of course, um, you kind of alluded to it, but I don't think you said specifically, you sent a bag of toys for each and every kitten and a few extras as well for us to use um, in upcoming litters, I would guess. So thank you so much for those. They went directly into the endowments and into the future endowments downstairs. And uh, this is also great. Uh, I guess I'll put it here. This is now our joint pile. Okay, um, this is another package that arrived that I didn't bring up here because it weighed 30 pounds and it turned out it was 30 pounds of cat food. Uh, so thank you so much for that. It says, okay to read on air in mailbag if you want. Well, of course I want. It says, hoping these help the little ones. The challenges of assisting animals does fill the heart with joy. Thank you from Pauline B. Pauline B, thank you very much uh, for all of the cat food. That is quite a lot, and I'm sure it will go a long way here. Um, I, I, I know that we've gone through that much. I'm trying to think how long ago it was that we ordered our last bag of food, um, but I don't, I guess I don't know. Okay, this is addressed to DJ. Uh, but we're going to open it anyway. I was just, again, I was panicking for a minute thinking I missed the one that said do not open, but that's, that's it down there. We didn't miss it. We saw it. Okay. Hope you enjoy indulging in the shortbread along with a cup of tea on your birthday. Kindest regards from Philly Mouse. Aw, enjoy a nice cup on your birthday. Enjoy. Hope your special day is filled with love, laughter, and purrs. Kind regards from Philly Mouse. Philly Mouse, thank you so much for all you do to help get the word out. Um, it's because of efforts of pe you and, and people like you that I don't have to work quite as hard to get the word out about us. So I, I can't possibly thank you enough for that. This is really cute. This is this mini Scotty dog shortbread from Walkers. I love little Scotty dogs. My mom uh, used to raise and train little Scotty dogs. So I was around them all the time growing up and fast. In fact, the first dog that was um, that I was friends with, the first dog I remember from my childhood was a, a Scotty that my mom had named Dirk. Uh, D-I-R-K Dirk, which is, uh, I guess, a, a great Scottish name too, isn't it? And here we have the Twinnings brand uh, green tea, pomegranate, raspberry, and strawberry flavored green tea. Now that sounds super interesting. Uh, here, I guess I'll pull these out, and that way DJ doesn't need to. I'll put them right in here for her, though, with your notes, so she gets to see all of it together. There we go. Uh, thank you so very much, Philly Mouse. That is really kind of you. Scotty Dogs will always have a little special place in my heart because of that. Um, and uh, when I moved out, the first pet that I sort of kept was one of my mom's Scotty Dogs that she sent to live with me in my apartment. Um, and uh, that was that was fun too. Why can't I think of his name? He was a blonde, one of the blonde type of uh, Scotty dogs, and uh, he was a lot of fun. But I can't. Oh man, it's not coming to me. I remember Dirk. That was even longer ago. But okay, well that's not neither here nor there, is it? You guys don't care what his name was. Uh, let's put this right here. Keep rolling. We need to make sure we get through everything in time. And I'm certainly using more time than I should have. So this is from Sage's Handmade, and so we already know what's in here. I am sure it's going to be for Gadget. Oh, I can smell it too. That is catnip. That's catnip I'm smelling. It's not whatever you're hearing going on in the litter box over there. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, happy birthday to DJ. I hope this is the start of a wonderful year. I hope you're both well and enjoying all the kittens before they head off to their forever homes in the next couple of weeks. Here is the Sage's Handmade Kick Bunny for Gadget. I made it extra long because so is she. Aw, this is so cute. 
Um, now I'm smelling what she did in the litter box. That is not as pleasant. Um, you asked me how long it takes. You asked me last time how long it takes to make a kick bunny, and the answer is it varies wildly. Sometimes I can crank one out in about six hours. Other times it takes days of working off and on. I've had some shoulder trouble lately, but TT and P. PT and cold packs are helping it a lot, and I'm back to crocheting more quickly again. Thank goodness. This bunny, you know, that just that reminds me of uh, uh, who was the artist who um, switched from some sort of uh, fabric work, I want to say knitting or crocheting, but maybe I'm wrong, to doing uh, fine art because she she just couldn't do the the right you know motions anymore i thought oh man why is this my brain is just not coming up with proper nouns today so we're going to keep rolling uh this bunny is filled with yao and frontier co-op organic catnips and meowie jane silver vine powder for that extra hit of herby goodness i'm finding frontier to be just as good as yao incidentally but i'd love to hear it if other people have opinions one way or the other the obligatory self-promotion. You can find the pattern for the kick bunny in my Etsy shop, sageshandmade.etsy.com. No spaces, no apostrophe, where you can occasionally find pre-made kick bunnies, or you can message me to commission one for you. I'm always happy to take commissions. Don't be shy. Yeah, do you want this right now? Because you need something that's a big kicker. I know you like a big kicker. Oh, she's smelling that. <laughs> she's got to sniff every part. Okay. Um, so that's Sage's Handmade, uh, uh, hand M A D E dot Etsy dot com. No spaces, no apostrophe. There's not much else going on here other than preparing for Hurricane Barrel to hit us on Monday, which will be this past Monday by the time you read this. Hopefully, it weakens more than they anticipate. Thank you, as always, for everything you do for kittens, cats, and the K A community, especially given the trials of the last month. Take good care of yourselves. Thank you so much for that, uh, Sages. I'm going to put this back in the box because I usually try to save your box and note um, for the adopters. So uh, we'll see if I do manage that this time. There we go. And I know I got the note not to forget uh, to package up Skies that is in the... Uh, she's already just going nuts on this thing. It is, these are great toys, and she is a cat that really appreciates a big kicker that she can really bunny kick. Like, that's her move. So this is a perfect thing for her. Oh, and she is going at it. She knows just what this is for. Fantastic. Okay, that brings us to one final box. Here, I'm going to... Wait, uh, no, this is already discarded, so good. I can put this in here. Okay. There we go. One final thing. Oh, this is heavy. All right. I almost thought about opening this in the garage, but I just thought, okay, we can bring this one up. So let's see. I, oh, are you worried about me throwing this big box around? Where did your kid go, by the way? I'm surprised I don't have a lap kitty for mailbag. I guess she must still be in that cardboard. Yeah, she is. I can see her butt hanging out this side. Okay. Well, there's a note right on top. Okay, read aloud in mailbags. So many mouths to feed. Hope these help. P.S. Thank you for your generous caring you show to all critters from Pauline B. Oh, all right. The same one who sent us the cat food. Is this more cat food? Oh, in fact, it is. Wow. It is uh, Meow Mix Surf and Turf Favorites Variety Pack. That sounds really good. Um... Uh, that's that's cool. You know, uh, Meow Mix is not one of the brands we normally use, but I love having some other brands around to give to mom cats that are a little bit uh, hesitant to eat the foods that we normally serve, which is pretty much all of them. There's almost always a time when I feel like um, I, I need to try them out on some various different foods to uh, to get them to eat just for a while, you know, and then we usually end up getting them to transition to what we per usually prefer to use. So this is wonderful, and like I said, it's really good, and I know uh, Meow Mix is one of those things that cats really do love. It's not just their advertising slogan, like cats go crazy for this stuff. In fact, um, who was, was it Cal that came in with the note about her favorite foods and stuff and a little bag of the dry meow mix that they said was her favorite food? 
I was like, of course it is. <laughs> I, maybe it wasn't Cal now. I, why can't I remember which cat that was? Eh, it's fine. I'm, the memory today is not 100%. I've only had the one cup of coffee this morning, which is a little low on the coffee. I think I should go have another now that mailbag is over. Make sure that we're ready for that adoption coming up in about an hour, uh, maybe sooner, maybe later. You know, uh, Sky's adopter is very local. In fact, Sky is going to continue to see Dr. Katz. Uh, her, her, you know, the vet that we see, so that's really convenient. And uh, her adopter already got to meet her at KA Con. So my point being that it's not a very far drive, and uh, she could come over pretty much any time now since the mailbag's done, and you just got to put this stuff away, and we're all set. So uh, thank you all so much for taking wonderful care of the kittens. The endowments are crazy generous. There's so much stuff going home with these kittens. Um, it is, it is a lot of stuff, and I think that uh, their adopters have been very happy about it. I know Gabe's people filled up. Uh, they brought two pieces of luggage with them uh, that were empty. And I imagine, I couldn't imagine how funny, it, well, this is how I know that they, they didn't get their bags back before they went to the hotel, that they couldn't get their bags back, because I said, I can only imagine if anybody knew that you're checking into the hotel with like a carry-on bag and then two giant suitcases Full of just cat toys and a cat. They're like they must. They must really know like who who runs the roost there. But uh, they didn't have the two big bags. That's all right. Uh, still, it's a funny thought, you know, that Gabe arrives at a hotel with two people and his luggage. Uh, like they're just sort of an afterthought at that point. Uh, okay, uh, that's not a kick funny. Try this one instead. There, divert. There you go. That's what you need. Hey, buddy. Your mom gets to be a bit much sometimes, doesn't she? Yeah. Uh, we do keep an eye on that, by the way. She's not too much yet. Uh, you know, I don't think that she is going to cause any damage at this point, but we do keep an eye on it. Um, you know, we had to sort of separate Brooke uh, from Pebbles after a certain point because she was a little nutty about um, playing rough with her. Um, so, so if it happens, we'll do it. It's fine. Uh, it would certainly be nicer if we could do it after this one is fully invested in eating regular food, not just packaging. She's licking that. I don't believe that she can smell that there's meow mix in there. She licks and bites everything right now at this stage like a toddler. Just everything she finds has got to be in her mouth, uh, which is good. That's you know I think that's part of how they are how they learn to eat you know it's just that instinct to to do that and eventually they get something like oh that's good and it fills my belly uh so yeah she'll get there okay let me start getting this stuff put away where it belongs now i'm going to turn off this mic before i forget and switch you back to the regular one I think that's the regular mic. And I think I'm going to get this stuff put up. Make sure that we're good to go for the adoption. I think the number one thing I have to do to make sure we're ready for that is drink some more coffee. As you can clearly tell, my brain is not online yet. Okay.
what is going on here? Do I smell cat peas in here? Daddy, you wouldn't be sitting in tea, would you? No. No, not even roast what Eddie's hair. Oh, maybe I smell this. It's a little bit of vomit here. I have to clean that up. Maybe I just smell the litter box. Well, maybe somebody peed over here again. Let's see. Yeah, that smells fresh. Carrying that mouse around? When did you get to be a big cat? That is something else, kiddo. 